this is Julie from the Scrappy Tree and I'm just gonna put together a little card today and I'm gonna be using the Heyday Collection paper pack from Studio Calico and a little bit of Tim Holtz ideology words today plenty to choose from and um, some Maya Road butterflies um, I think I'm just gonna use one I'm gonna use a cotton candy gelato water brush and then some pieces of that paper a doily a tag and I started off by just finding a scrap a larger scrap um, blue piece of cardstock and I folded it over to make a card and then I just went through my paper pack and just kind of picked some colors that I liked and I really liked um, the butterfly paper kind of popped out at me so what I'm going to do I'm going to glue down the base, and I thought this paper went well with the butterfly. I'm going to glue that down. If I can get a hold of it here. Okay. Add some glue, and I'm using the Beacon 3-in-1 adhesive, which is my favorite glue, really. Even though sometimes it gets a little stringy, it really holds so well. But that's why it's one of my favorites. Okay, so I've got that down and want to add just a little piece of a doily I think would look kind of cute. So I'm just going to do a little strip of glue, glue there, kind of place it. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to place it like this. Glue that on, and then glue my butterfly panel on. And again, this glue, you don't really need a whole lot, and I probably use way more than you even need, but I kind of always have been that way with glue. Always use a little bit more than I need. Okay, so that is on. And I want to use my tag, but I don't really want it white. So what I was thinking is I would use my gelato. I should hold it that way. Okay, my gelato and my water brush. Take the top off my water brush, and I'm just going to kind of get my gelato wet. And I'm just going to rub my color on. And it's not going to be, I'm not using it real heavy. I just want a faint, kind of a faint color. It's just adding a nice little color wash to it just to make it so it's not blue or not white excuse me I would like the blue and I'm trying not to squeeze the water brush because I really don't want my tag to be too wet okay okay so it's just, I don't know how well you can see it, um, but it's just a little hint of blue. So it's just not, you know, it's just not too stark of a white on there. And I wanted the doily to maybe show a little bit more. Okay, so that is that. And again, with the gelato, if I wanted to go in and do it some more and make it darker, I could. Um, but I think I like it this way. And I want to add a little strip of wood green. I think I'm just gonna just cut it to size. Put some glue. Now where to put it? I think I'm gonna put it up here. Okay. And I'm gonna grab some, I've got some vintage seam binding. And if I can find an end, I'll cut some of that. It's kind of a, kind of a corally orange. I didn't really want it to be super matchy with the paper, the butterfly paper. So I'm just going to take that through with the loop. Put my open ends there. Okay, I'm going to trim off a little excess. Okay, so I think I'm going to have it like that and now for words that I would like on it. Hmm. I'm 
going to probably put something, maybe something friendship related. I know, let's do smile. So I'm going to put smile. Got it on my tag. I am going to also get bigger pop dots. Okay. Want some foam adhesive? I'm going to pop up the tag a bit. And then we'll be almost done this card. garbage part. It's the only thing that's kind of a pain about those things, taking that off. Okay, I'm going to place that kind of in the middle of my doily spot. And then last step, I'm going to take one of the butterflies. And they are from, they're the Meyer Road Vintage Wood Mini Butterflies. There we go, spill a bunch. Okay, let's see. This one kind of reminds me of the one on there. And I kind of like it, just the plain wood color. This is a strong adhesive, so I am going to just put a little bit on here. Have it kind of in motion, in flight. And voila, finished card. Hope you enjoyed the project today and we'll see you next time.